Good morning. I'd like to begin by asking you to join me in a single deep measured breath. I'd like to share with you today why I make coffee. To say that I've always been a coffee lover would certainly be to trespass on hyperbole, but to say that I've always been a maker, much less so. My guess would be that most coffee consumed, at least in my culture, is made automatically by a machine. I'm no Luddite, but I strongly believe that there are certain processes that should not be left <clears throat> to automation. Sex, voting, and making coffee top that list. A great cup of coffee begins with great beans. To paraphrase Pulp Fiction's Jimmy Dimmick, buy the best beans so when you drink your coffee you can taste it. It takes about 28 grams of coffee beans to make a good cup. That's about 220 individually hand-picked beans. Depending on how you make your coffee, grind is key. I grind my coffee to the consistency of table salt so that each cup is rich in flavor and potent in its effect. To add a more tactile experience, I grind with Japanese steel. This is a stainless Porlex ceramic burl grinder. A fine grind requires about 120 cranks. That's about 12 deep measured breaths. Of course, there are times when a quicker grind is in order. <laughs> but rather than automating it, I imagine it. To release the flavor-rich oils in coffee requires hot water, but not boiling. For delicious reasons, there is a deep love of water and grounds mingled at a perfect 79 degrees Celsius. But I'm still experimenting. There are some fine digital kettles that boil water to precise temperatures. And as tempting as it is to lay down a fat stack on one of these, I already have a kettle. And I'm a maker. So, a few well-drilled holes, a well-placed screw, a red rubber band, and I have a digital kettle. At room temperature, water takes about two and a half minutes to reach that magical oils extracting temperature of 79 degrees. That's about 30 deep measured breaths. I press my coffee with an AeroPress, a superior invention that stands at the pinnacle of human ingenuity with the bicycle and fermentation. A splash of hot water over the grounds. There's a 35-second bloom, a 10-second pour, and the AeroPress is primed and ready to go. I am now 45 seconds away from an amazing cup of coffee. That's about 18 deep measured breaths, all told. This may seem esoteric knowledge to many, because most of our coffee is made automatically, or by our favorite barista. I am Michelle's favorite barista, and the first cup is always for her. Her eyes shine, and the corners of her mouth curl in anticipation as I hand her the cup. And watching her enjoy that first sip is a singular experience, and the culmination of a very particular process. Michelle calls it her coffee moment, and I love being part of it. Then I make my own. I make coffee as I do, as one small way to nurture the essential connection between my hands, my head, and my heart. It is a practice of transforming routine to ritual. Where routine can rob our experiences of freshness and vitality, ritual restores both meaning and purpose to each act. 
Making coffee is but one of many of life's routines. When I make coffee, I'm reminded that even small acts can be extraordinary. That when we immerse ourselves fully into our experiences, there are no ordinary moments. And that the coffee tastes a whole lot better. Thank you.